I think we can say that the use of Likanimab uh, in uh, real world is possible, is safe and manageable uh, when um, you apply it uh, according to the own label, American own label, it's safe and manageable and it's uh, safer when uh, neurologists apply uh, restriction as uh, exclusion of uh, EPRO-E4, E4 or exclusion of anticoagulant. So during the um, symposium, we could identify two positions in U.S. Uh, with a position uh, that is in favor of the prescription on on label without any restriction, inclusion of EPOE4, E4, and inclusion of anticoagulated patient, and uh, other way of think to uh, apply more restrictive uh, indication. So they don't want to give the don't um, recommend to give um, to administrate lecanemab and donanemab to patients who are uh, EPOE4, E4 or who are treated with uh, anticoagulant. So according to the results, uh, it seems that the benefit-risk ratio is better when we exclude, when we apply restriction of those patients. For the um, American guidelines for donanimab, they are following the same way with a non-recommendation in APOE44 uh, patient and non-recommendation in anticoagulated patient. So this is um, kind of homogeneous uh, position to uh, become safer for the patient without losing efficiency. We will need uh, research. Uh, today the research will be needed from real clinical practice and we will have to use the data from uh, the network and the network database like ADNet in America or in France in Europe. With this data, uh, including um, several thousands of patients, we will be able to determine the population who, um, who have the best efficiency and uh, the lowest um, secondary effects, specifically ARIA. So I think with the data from the real uh, world uh, um, practice, we will be able to optimize the benefit-risk ratio for the patients. The second point is that we'll have to evaluate the American guidelines for donanimab, of course, by American neurologists, but also by international neurologists. And we will have to uh, improve these guidelines according to the different population in the world and, um, and create maybe all the guidelines uh, in different countries. And the last point is for the pharmaceutical laboratories. Uh, we, we will need research and development for all the uh, design of administration like uh, in the Donanima presentation, but also of uh, we will need um, all the Galenic uh, of administration to cover all the countries, including urban area, and uh, for example, a subcutaneous administration will be very good for all people and clinicians and of course patients.